Hi Virgo, welcome to your uh, special love tarot vision messages. So this is going to be a reading focused on love and relationship matters. Um, and it's one that is for any type of relationship status, Virgos that are single, Virgos that are in a relationship, Virgos that are in a complicated situation, or Virgos that are just wondering about what type of energy seems to be present within their um, love life at this time. So, as always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through <clears throat> the email I put in the description box below for February. I have two special um, sales offer available as usual and both are focused in the theme of love and relationships as well. So if you'd like to have your own personal Valentine's um, Day reading, just email me. I will put some details in the description box below about them. Um, if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Virgo. It does feel like February brings here some awareness for some of you Virgos um, that things in your love life might need some time, okay, some time to make sense and some time a way, how can I explain this, it's almost like some of you Virgos need some time for yourselves or a little bit more time for yourselves to heal and process things in your own time and your own um, space so it feels like some of you Virgos need space to figure out what is still emotionally um, complicated for you what is still emotionally um, you know, you're, what is still emotionally holding you back from achieving a sense of higher purpose in your relationships? What I want to say is that there are some Virgos here that feel like you haven't reach, reached that standard of relationship that you long to find. And it feels that because of it, um, because there's something here about your standards or something here about your dreams when it comes to love that haven't been fulfilled, you're questioning if um, it's because it hasn't been yet the time or if there's something about those own expectations of yours that are illusions that you need to set yourself free from. And this distortion between what's the love reality and what's the love possibilities and manifestations that you can achieve um, is something that's truly messing with you somehow because you can't find in you the um, notion of... Some of you Virgos can't find in you the notion of what um, it is that you're truly after and what it is that others are really about if they are about what they are what they present or if it's if you see in them what you want to see because i say this because there's a feeling here some of you virgos that are in relationships um it could be that you come to realize particularly in february and as the month progresses that you don't really know your partner that well or there's aspects of partner that you have missed on and you're wondering how and why right and it feels like you're internalizing this a lot like you're some Virgos you're not putting the blame necessarily on the other like in the partner I feel like you're inquiring and going through this this need to analyze this this type of situation a lot by yourself you're like questioning how did you miss on something, right? How didn't you see something that should have been obvious? Some of you have been dealing with dishonesty, so 
you're also questioning about this for some of you Virgos that have been cheated, that have been deceived, that have been, you know, betrayed somehow, um, or Virgos that keep attracting, you know, partners that are just are just not the best, um, and consistently again hard to figure out. Um, you're taking this matter kind of seriously, like you're just like you're studying the situation really seriously because you want to be free from this pattern and you want to know what it is about you or about the choices you make um, that contribute to the situation and you want to change this you want to change your love narrative so strongly because you are growing uninterested in um, at a level some of your Virgos are growing very uninterested about love I have to say it's like love um, for some Virgos due to the constant disappointments. Uh, some of you love is, you seeing love with a lot of apathy and a lot of mistrust and even boredom. Some of you feel quite lonely even in a relationship. It's like you are a partner up but you feel lonely in this relationship because there's an emotional vo void um, that needs to be figured out, and I feel like some of you Virgos are really in this nurturing, uh, in this energy of nurturance, even in nature, in contact with activities that fulfill you. There's a part of you that is finding emotional contentment, not in another person, not in a emotional and sexual um, base, but more in a professional, voc vocational um, sense. It's almost like some of your Virgos are putting your love in utility, in service, which is something that Virgos do a lot, but it's almost like you're putting your hopes um, in other places, you're investing more in other things that you know you can define and control um, a little bit better. Some of you Virgos have options, okay? There's a feeling of you have options, but the options um, that you're presented with, either they don't satisfy you, or, again, you're scared about them not being what they look like. And if there's a part of it that is um, that is real, because the Seven of Cups energy is so strong here. So, again, there are things that are seduction, okay, like a moment, like, um, there are, okay, some of the options that are presented to you, indeed, are more like things of the moment, thrill, emotional thrills in the moment, you know, seduction games, easy gratification, but then they leave. The, 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 that presence leaves. So it's like um, relationships that are very um, temporary and where the, the, the interest fades easily from you or from the person um, in, in mind. So if... If something is fading in February about a person you have been dealing with, it could be another Earth sign, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn individual, or an Aries is also strongly indicated here. If you feel like um, there is something about this person uh, that you feel like is fading, or just so confusing, so, so confusing, you don't know how you feel, you don't know how they feel truly, give it time uh, to, clar to get this clarification. It's better to get clarification first than to fully invest in something that can be indeed, you know, pipe dreams, because that's the danger here. For others of you you're getting real about something here. So, some of you Virgos, you and a person might be having talks about taking your relationship to the next level, but it feels that 
it still, you know, talks. So it's not yet set in stone. The idea here of making something, you know, a commitment official or, you know, real, it's still in the minds. You might receive that type of offer from someone, but it's, it's, it's just, um, for now, talk. It's going to take a little bit more time to get that situation to actually solidify the way you hope to. Some of you, again, you have some flirtation energy here all around you, actually. So there's compliments, there's sweet gestures, there's perhaps um, gifts being given to you. But of all sorts, there's this charming energy around you, so you could be indeed you know, having, you know, people show a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of a sweet side towards you, indeed. Um, but don't, the advice here is for now, at least, in terms of your love life, keep things moderate and light before you truly know what you're dealing with here. If, for Virgos in particular, that are meeting someone new that have recently started something emotional here with someone like wait it wait, don't worry about the weight or about missing on anything here because things are you know very foggy and under this fog and with this foggy influence we shouldn't make important decisions for some of you <clears throat> There's a lot of fantasy here as well. Someone has a strong sense of emotional fantasy here with you. This person that is showing up here with a lot of emotional fantasy towards you, Virgo, um, is someone that respects you... Um, Tremendously, someone that admires, someone that sees you as a version of themselves, but like in a, in a more, in the initial stages, it's almost like, for some of you Virgos, there's like this age gap here with, uh, with someone. So for Virgos, you're dealing with someone where there's this significant age gap between you and them. Someone is looking at you as, you know, having, you know, a lot of potential and they respect and admire you by that. They see your value. They see that you can grow to be an outstanding kind of person or, or even something here about your, again, professional life could be important and significant here. But... <clears throat> This person does not know how to approach you, it feels. So this could be someone that is admiring you, but like far away. It, this could be someone that disappointed you in the past. And again, they keep having this emotional fantasy, but they don't do much about it. Um, I feel like someone has you more in mind than, than what you know, what you expect them to have. Someone thinks more about you than what you know, Virgo. Um, for Virgos that are in a relationship, uh, the, your relationship is under some sort of, um, reform. So there's changes happening here that need to happen because things have not been working in, within the relationship um, well. So I see that there's some investment on your side and on your partner's side to work harder or to work differently towards this commitment to make it um, more fulfilling because there's again that lack of fulfillment where one of the sides 
that is serious and shouldn't be that present, that is sense of insatisfaction with the person you are with. Um, and it feels like the, for those Virgos that are wanting to work on your relationships that have not, you know, been doing that well, um, you and your partner just need some time to figure this out um, in a clear in a clear mindset because your mindset, yours and your partner's, and the people you're dealing with, Virgo, is like there's this equal amount of confusion. So just give it some time to take it to a good outcome because the outcome can be um, complicated. I'm sorry, the, the, out the outcome can be positive, but the way to get there is complicated. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, also, some of you Virgos, there's a lot of messages for Virgos. Some of you Virgos, um, you're dealing with situations that are like a forbidden kind of love. So that could be indeed here temptation, affairs, uh, love, love, um, love triangles. Um, there could be here some again um, energy that makes it uh, quite complicated um, to define to define uh, situations and to see situations for what they are. <coughs> but if there has been any sort of deception from a person you are with, you're about to find it out. So if you're wondering if your partner is faithful or not, if this person is being real or not with you, you're going to soon find out about it. Um, if someone manifests during this time that you know, where you know there's a little bit of that deception, uh, where you know there's that danger, uh, again, give it time. Look at the situation carefully and for what it is. Don't give in to the fantasy because it's going to make the fog thicker. So I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. I hope you, the month brings you um, a lot of love and light in your heart space. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.